Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install CR Droid ROM and root your Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. So let's go ahead and get straight into this. Alright, so as you can see here, I already have CR Droid running on the phone. So I won't be showing you guys how to unlock the bootloader in this tutorial because Xiaomi has made it quite difficult to unlock the bootloader on these devices. So you're going to have to watch another tutorial in order to unlock the bootloader. So now once you have your bootloader unlocked, you can go ahead and follow this guide right here. So what you're going to want to do first is go ahead and power your phone off completely. Just go ahead and shut it off here. And now that our phone is off, let's go ahead and go onto our computer here and load up the following page in the link in the description. So this here will take you to the CR Droid download page and install page for the Mi 9T Pro. And this build date is from uh, January 28th, 2025. Now the developer has taken some time off, so the next build, the ETA is still unknown, although it definitely will come back. And um, I do believe that CR Droid is the best um, ROM out there for the Mi 9T Pro so far. So I would definitely go ahead and install this ROM, even though it hasn't been updated in a bit. doesn't really matter too much. It will become updated again down the road. So now that you're on this page, what I would do is go ahead and hit Recovery and Gaps, and just go ahead and open those in new tabs here, which should take you here. And go ahead and download the latest version of CR Droid for this device. So it should go ahead and start downloading up here. Now I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. But let that download. And then once that's finished downloading, and then the next thing, recovery, you just want to go down here, click recovery, and you have a lot of different choices for your custom recovery here, but the best one, in my opinion, is the Orange Fox recovery. This recovery, um, it's very customizable. It allows um, for file decryption, and overall, I would say it's the best choice when using CR Droid. You could still OTA with this, which means update uh, without having to flash the firmware file again. You could just go ahead and update straight on the device, which is nice. So I would go ahead and get this Orange Fox right here. Now, you're going to want the zip for Orange Fox. So go ahead and download the zip, which is this one. And you're going to want to go ahead and download the image file here. So this is the file that we're actually going to be flashing to the device. All right, so now that our Orange Fox zip and image files are downloaded, uh, let's go ahead and install GAPS here. Now, you don't need to install GAPS if you want a de-Googled phone with no Play Store, no Google services, none of that. Then you don't have to install GAPS. Now, for me, I don't really like the GAPS that comes with the CR Droid here that they recommend you using here. Um, I just think they're too minimal because they are the uh, core version of GAPS. So if you do want a fully customizable, fully um, loaded version of GAPS, you can go ahead and go to the nickygaps.com and you can download whichever GAPS you want. So Go is just Android Go, so I wouldn't really recommend that. It's just for uh, low-level devices. Core is just basic things like Google Play Store, GMS Core. So basically you're just getting the Play Store. Basic is a little bit better, just replaces the Google Clock, the dialer, and that kind of stuff, Google Messages. Um, Omni is, it's kind of similar to Basic. And Stock, it just downloads the Pixel Launcher, all that. Full is just all Google services. You're basically turning this device into a Google Pixel if you choose to use Full. Now, I really don't want a Google Pixel fully, so I am going to go ahead and just install Omni for my G apps. So you could go ahead and click... So you're going to want to go ahead and click releases. Then we're going to want to go Android 15, which is what the ROM is running on. January 27th version. And whichever one you decide to choose. So I'm going to go with Omni here. And that will go ahead and install in a second here. All right, so now we do have all of our files installed here. Um, labeled Mi 9T Pro folder here. We have the orange fox. All right, so now that everything is done downloading, go ahead and put that in a folder. That's what I would recommend, just so that you don't um, accidentally flash the wrong stuff if you do do this kind of stuff a lot. So I have a folder called Mi9T Pro, and I just have all of our firmware files in here. So now before we proceed with flashing anything on the device, you're going to want to make sure you have ADB installed already. So if you just go into your command prompt, type in ADB devices, 
Uh, if you see list of devices attached, that's a good sign. That means you already have this installed, as well as fastboot devices. If you go ahead and try to type that in, if that just gives you this, doesn't give you an error, that means you already have ADB installed. But for those of you who don't have ADB installed, what you're going to want to do is search up platform tools and go to Android developers platform tools, first link here, for uh, choose whichever operating system you're on. So I'm on Windows here. Scroll all the way down, agree to that, and then click download the SDK tools. Go ahead and have this here. Uh, so now open it up in your file explorer and then go ahead and extract this here. So it will go ahead and extract and then you should be able to open the file now and you should see platform tools right here. Go ahead and copy that and we can put that into our Mi 9T Pro folder here just so everything is nice and organized. And now if you go inside of platform tools, so make sure to double click on platform tools, type in CMD and you now should be able to type in ADB devices or fast boot devices and that should work properly like that. Now the last thing you should be doing is if you do not have the Xiaomi drivers installed, if you've never flashed anything onto your Xiaomi phone, that's what you should be going ahead and installing here. So just go ahead and look up Xiaomi drivers USB here. It should just be the first link here. Click this, click Xiaomi driver, find your device. So that's the Mi 9T Pro. Probably just search it here, Mi 9T Pro. Go ahead and click that and go ahead and get the latest driver. So go to the download, grab the ADB driver and the Qualcomm driver and install those. So now that everything is done, we have all the firmware files, we have all the drivers, we have our platform tools installed, we can go ahead and start the flashing process. So now with your Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro in a fully powered off state, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click the power button here on the side as well as the volume down button simultaneously and just wait here until you see the Mi logo appear and you should be straight into something called Fastboot right here with the little Android guy. Once that's on there, you're going to want to go ahead and grab a USB-C cable, plug that into your computer and go ahead and plug that right into your phone there. So now that that is plugged into your phone, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go back into your platform tools and go ahead and type in CMD again. And go ahead and type in fast boot devices into that CMD. So you just type it in the directory path there, fast boot devices. You should see your device with a random character name. It doesn't really make sense and it should say fast boot right there. So now that we have confirmed that that is working, we're gonna go ahead and flash our recovery. All right, so now here I've just organized my space a little better. We have the CMD window up here, the Mi 9T Pro folder here, and we have the web browser here just in case we need anything else. So what we're gonna to wanna to do once we confirm that the fast boot is showing up, what you're gonna do is type in fast boot, and then go ahead and type in flash recovery, and then we're going to take our orange fox, and remember, this has to be the image file here. Make sure it's the image, and it should be called .img at the end, so it should be orange fox, r12, whatever, .img. Go ahead and right-click on this, hit copy as path, and right-click in here, and it should copy the path. So it will go ahead, and we can go ahead and hit enter here, and it's sending the recovery file, and boom. Now that our recovery has been sent, we can go ahead and go back to the Mi 9T Pro here. We should see the fast boot screen still, and this time we're gonna hit volume button and volume up button at the same time, and we're gonna release it when we see the Mi logo. So let's go ahead and do that here. So hold it. And we see the Mi logo here, wait for it to vibrate and let go. So now we should be booting into Orange Fox Recovery. If any, if everything went well, as you can see right there, Orange Fox Recovery is booting. And now since I already had CR Droid before, it will make me put my pattern in. All right, so now that the pattern is in and you have successfully decrypted your login, it might show it up for MIUI if you saw MIUI, most likely not. Um, but now once you're in here, what you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do is hit the little trash bin in the corner 
Hold up a second. Let me just adjust the brightness so you guys can see this better here. So you're going to want to hit the trash bin in the corner. You're going to want to hit format data. Go ahead and type in yes. Hit confirm on that. And it should completely wipe the data here. And then we can go ahead and do internal storage, data, metadata, cache, Dalvik. We could go ahead and wipe all those and hit swipe to wipe. And now that we have that, it should just show Fox in the SD card or the internal storage there. And that is good. So now that we have done that, go ahead and go from your file explorer here to menu, click reboot, and then go back to your recovery here. We should go back to Orange Fox here. All right, so now we are back on the Orange Fox recovery. And we can see everything is good. Storage is not encrypted. Good signs there. And now what we're going to want to go ahead and do is click the three dot menu here. Go ahead and hit ADB and side mode. Wipe Dalvik, wipe cache, start the side mode here. So now that our side load is up and running, what you're going to want to do is type in, we're going to want to go back to our command prompt window here and type in ADB devices. And we can see same device name and it's in side load mode now. So that's a good sign as well. So what we're going to want to do is type in ADB D side load. And we're going to want to go ahead and grab our CR droid file. It should be a zip file. It should be a big file. See Android, Android 15 should look similar to that. And do the same thing, right click, hit copy as path. Uh, paste it in here by pressing the right mouse button and press enter. And this should start the side loading process for the ROM here. And as you can see on here, it says starting ADB side load feature. It should start serving it in a second. Okay, so now it is serving the file and you should be able to see in here CR droid Android right here and it should start the installation process just like this you should be able to see this on your side load screen and that's a good sign there All right, and now as we can see here wiping cache and Dalvik completed and now what we're gonna go ahead and do is If you don't want to do anything else if you just want stock CR droid no root No Google Apps go ahead and reboot now and you should be entering the system Now, if you want Google Apps or Root, stay tuned here. So what we're going to want to do now is go ahead and hit back. Go ahead and hit ADB side load again. Swipe to start the side load again. And go ahead now on your terminal here or your CMD. Hit the up arrow key and that will bring us back to the ADB-D side load. And just take away the previous path here. So just go to your ADB-D side load just like that. Nothing else. And what we're going to want to do here is grab our G apps. So we're going to flash the G apps first, right click on them, hit copy as path and right click right next to here. It should copy the path here. It should say Nick Gap or Nick Gaps Omni Arm 64. Looks good there. Go ahead and hit enter on this and it should go ahead and serve that as well. And now we'll go ahead and install the G apps and you should be able to see on the screen that it is running the G apps installation right there. So go ahead and wait a second, just like how we waited for CR Droid to install earlier. All right, and there we go. Another thing has been flashed, that's the G apps. And now let's go ahead and give it root access. So what we're going to want to do in order to gain root, go ahead and open a new tab and search up Magisk. Um, and then you can search GitHub after that. So Magisk GitHub. And click this GitHub right here. It should show this top John Woo. And make sure it is the Magic Master Android GitHub. Make sure no uh, dodgy links or anything. Just straight GitHub here. Go down to where it says releases. Click on releases. Scroll down to where it shows the APK file. And go ahead and download that. And wait until it is done. All right. So now that Magisk has finished installing, go ahead and click the little folder icon here. And let's just drag it over to our Mi 9T Pro folder just for organization's sake. And right click on the APK file right here. Go ahead and scroll down to where it says rename. And change the .apk at the end. Now if you don't see that there, go ahead and if you don't see the file extension, click view here and click show file extensions, file name extensions over there. And that should let you uh, see the .apk. So now once we do see that, go ahead and change the .apk to .zip. 
go ahead and click yes and we can go back to our CMT window hit the up arrow key and just delete all of that there right click on Magisk here copy as path right click again and make sure go to go back here uh, on the phone make sure to go back to ADB sideload and swipe to start that again so now we're back in ADB sideload mode you can go ahead and start the sideload again on here by clicking enter in the terminal and that should go ahead and serve it there and you can see Magisk installer stock boot image detected and it will go through its installation process on the device here so just wait a couple minutes and you should see done shouldn't take that long now go ahead and click back and we are going to reboot to system here and this should work about 50 percent of the time so let's go ahead and see if we boot in to cr droid here all right and boom now we can see the cr droid logo booting up right here so that's a great sign if you see this 99% of the time means that you're good and you should be in the ROM. Now, if your device didn't boot, what I would do is reboot back to Orange Fox using the volume power button and volume down key. And go back there and just wipe, uh, don't do a format data, just wipe the uh, uh, internal data, uh, Dalvik and that kind of stuff and just swipe to wipe that, reboot, and you should reboot straight into CR Droid if you do that as well. But as we can see here, CR Droid is booting, and it should. You shouldn't really have to do what I just said, unless um, you're in like the 10% of users that may have to do that. All right, so now you can see hi there. We can go ahead and click start, and I'm just going to skip through the setup here. As you can see, already detecting LTE in the corner here, and we can see the gaps is working because you can see getting your phone ready. So yeah. That is how you flash CR Droid onto your Mi 9T Pro. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more Android ROM videos. And goodbye.